Yo, what's good YouTube? It's YBC and I am back bringing another video and in this video I am going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay with the brand new Prime VIP Diamond Carl Malone. Now before we hop into it everything, if you guys could do me a real quick favor and drop a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can hit the like goal of 455 likes on this video. Jumping straight into it right here, as you guys can see in front of us on the screen, we do have the mailman, which is Carmelo's nickname, in front of us today. And to be completely honest with you guys, I was not going to get a gameplay with this card, but I found out his jump shot and the price, and I figured... I had to get a gameplay with this man right here. First and foremost, when it comes to the price of this Diamond Carl Malone card, I will put up the screenshot of what I bought him for on the screen for you guys. I did have a winning bid of 8,200 MT. Now, I don't know how much he's going to be going for at the time I upload this video, but how much I got him, as you can see right here, is very, very cheap. Only 8,000 MT. And also, when it came to the jump shot of this Carl Malone card, like I said, it stuck out to me. And I will be putting up a video of what his jump shot looks like in the freestyle mode in my team. This jump shot that 2K gave him is the fastest big man release in NBA 2K20 my team. And it's probably one of the easiest releases to green as well. So mixed in with the, with the fact that it is fast and easy... And the price, guys, I simply had to try him out myself and see how he performs on the unlimited courts. So with that being said, let's go on ahead and take a look at this man's badges and attributes. And obviously, then we'll hop into the gameplay. As 2K made him a half center, half power forward, standing in at 6 foot 9. I'm going to be running him at the power forward position because, honestly, 6 foot 9 at the center is way too short. Moving on to the badge count right here. 2K gave him 12 Hall of Fame badges and 19 goals. The 12 Hall of Fames include Dream Shake, Catch and Shoot. Pick and roll it, pick and pop it, relentless finisher, post mid technician, drop stepper, contact finisher, back down punisher, post move lock, re rim protector, and defensive leader. As well as 19 gold badges right here. Some of the most important gold badges I'm going to name off, including clamps, chase on artist, intimidator, moving truck, rebound chaser, cross key score, pro touch, deep phase, green machine, and quick draw. Taking a look at the attributes for the mailman right here, 2K gave him an 88 driving layup, 96 post fade, 98 post moves, 95 draw foul, 99 close shot, 95 mid range, 83 pointer, 80 free throw, and both an 85 for the standing and driving dunk. 2K didn't really give him a good playmaking ball handle, but honestly, that doesn't really matter too much, guys. When, when we get a Pink Diamond version and a Galaxical version of Carmelone, he'll be having a much better ball handle, and he will likely be speed boosting. As moving along to defense right here, guys, 2K gave him an 85 block, 79 perimeter D, and 96 interior defense, 95 offensive and 96 defense rebound, 81 speed, 97 strength, 83 lateral quickness, and a 95 defensive and a 98 offensive consistency. So now that we've taken a look at the badges and attributes for this Diamond Carl Malone card right here, it is now time we hop into the gameplay and ultimately see how he performs on the court, which I'm pretty sure, guys, and I'm confident he's going to perform very well. I'm going to be running a lot of pick and rolls and pick and pops with Carl Malone because that's exactly what he did in his prime with John Stockton. So we do have him on a pop right here, catch and shoot for the mid-range, and that is cash. Don't leave this man open. I'm going to make you pay every single time you leave him wide open. Oh, good defense by Dirk. We get the block. Let's go up to Carl Malone right here. Let's try and stop and pop for the mid-range. Actually, we'll take the three-ball right here. Splash! Let's go, Carmelo. And actually, that was a mid-range, guys. But I'll still take it nonetheless, guys. I'll take two more points. Good defense by Carmelo. He even gets a steal. Let's go. He's pushing you off the court right here with the four to steam. Attacking and paint. Attacking ping down Anthony Davis. We get stopped. It's all good, though. As we set up top right here. PNR with Magic. And Malone attacking paint right here. I see Malone roll into the bucket. I'll take that mid-range. And that is cash again. Malone right now is 3-3. Three three early on in this game with six points. Another pick and pop right here between Malone and Magic. Good screen. Got him on a pop. My opponent's not stepping up again. And that's another green light for my boy, Carl Malone. Again, guys, like I said earlier, he just simply has the fastest big man release in the game. My opponent was there a little bit, but he could not get a contest. That's good defense. Let's try and lock this up right here. That's even better defense. Watch the cut. That's actually bad reach, but it's all good. Okay, Malone right here attacking paint. Going all the way with the nice one-handed dunk. And my opponent needs himself a timeout early on in this ball game. Good point and stop by my boy Dirk. Up to Matt Johnson right here. Keep running Malone. I see Malone run the floor going all the way. And that lamp is good over Anton Walker. He is too little in the paint. Oh, good defense by my boy Malone. Let's go. Malone up at Jimmy Butler. Butler, one more to Clyde Drexler in the corner. Wide open for three. And that's a terrible release. But Butler's able to tip it in, though. Let's go, Butler. Way to follow the shot. Speaking of Butler, guys, I have to upgrade my Jimmy Butler card. I have the Diamond version and Pink Diamond just came out. I have plenty of, I have plenty of MT to get to the Pink Diamond version, but... 
I just gotta do it after this video. I gotta do it ASAP because that pink diamond butler is nice as we get that steal right there. I'm taking keep running Malone, keep running, Malone, run the floor, keep going all the way with a nice lob and slam. You guys know me. The big fellas always getting rewarded when they run the floor. We're up by seven points right now. Our largest lead of the first quarter. A good defense bump from Clyde Drexler. We got plenty of time right here to get up another shot. Magic run the floor. And so is Carmel Lone. Oh, come on, 2K. Come on. That should have win. No one, no one was in the paint to contest Malone right there. It's all good, though, guys. We're going to be up by still seven points heading into the second quarter. The first quarter in the squad. If the squad in the first quarter had a very solid quarter. That's great defense. Let's go. We get that steal. Let's go, AD right here. Push up to Carmelo. I'm going to try and stop and pop for the mid-range off the dribble, and that's cash. I guess the off-dribble ones are very fast and cash as well as the regular standing one, and we almost got that steal right there. We got it anyway, guys. I'll take it right there. Then you Clyde Dresser for getting that one. To Magic in the corner, wide open for three. Oh, man. That's off. But Carmelo is able to get it, and he we get a kickball violation. Our ball out of bounds. We got kind of lucky right there. But low-key, we deserve the ball out of bounds because... We should have made that wide open three with, we got Butler in the corner, in the left corner right here for three, and that is no good. Carmelo with the ball, going up with this one, and gets that reverse layup to go. Just like that, guys, Carmelo has his takeover badge activated, which is post one takeover. But honestly, guys, I had a quick brain fart because, honestly, I, I completely missed, I, I completely forgot who missed that wide open corner three. Good boy, it's time my boy Carmelo. Carmelo is 18 and five. He's on the floor right here, trying to go all the way. We don't really have the numbers right here, guys. I'm gonna give it to Carmelo in the post. Let him go to work in the post. Looks like Kobe is honest. Kobe, I love Kobe, but he's a little bit too small. I don't think he can guard Carmelo in the post. Backing Kobe down. And he's trying to help, but help is not there. And we missed that. I can't believe it. We're going to own offensive rebound, though. Dizzy he been a paint. Going to go with this one again. And that time we get that layup to go over Kobe. My opponent himself another timeout in this game. That should be a steal. Oh, I was right there again for it. I know he's passing. I know he's passing this. I know he is passing this. He's not shooting that. Pass it. Get in the lane. Get in the lane. Get in the lane. I see the corner. I see... I see everything. Let's go. Give me that steal. Butler, KD, run the floor all the way with a nice dunk. Let's go. This 17-point lead for us now is now officially the largest of, of, of the game for us. Let's go. Malone and post right here on AD. This should be barbecue chicken. Nice post fade off AD, and that is green. Let's go. You guys know me. I don't like using a post often, but this man's post fade is green. Good boy. Stop it, my boy Odom. Let's go. Odom, push the ball off the court to Carl Malone. Stop it and pop it from deep. Splash. Malone with another green bean. Good boy, it's happening Malone. That is now his seventh rebound of the game. I'm told Depot, one more to Magic. I see Malone run the floor. Keep running, Malone. I see you. Hop stepping in the paint, going all the way, drawing a foul. And this actually might be a rage quit. Yes, it is. We have forced a rage quit on my opponent in this third quarter. You know what, guys? I want to use Carmelo card a little bit more. I had a lot of fun using him in Unlimited. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be taking him now in a triple threat for one quick game, and then I'm gonna wrap up the gameplay and wrap up this video after we get this triple threat game in. So a high pick roll right here between Malone and Magic. Let's go. Good screen and roll Malone all the way with the nice one-handed dunk. Another thing I love about this card right here is the dunking animations. He gets very, very glitchy animations. Magic wide open in the right corner for three, and that is good. Let's go. You can't leave any of my guys open on the court. I know the release is pretty well. They're not gonna they're not gonna miss wide open. Great D oh, okay, I guess better finish by Carmelo Anthony right there. My boy Magic just got posted. It's all good. On tonight's play right here. High pick and pop, pick and fade between Magic and Carmelo. Kinda overplaying it. Send Malone on a cut inside, and you guys already know the rest. Slam dunk by Malone. Nice move by Carmelo, and we get that slam dunk to go. We literally just pushed off Chris Bosch off of us for an easy dunk. I'm gonna try to do the exact same thing that I did last time and go to the post with my, with my boy Carl Malone on Chris Bosch. Chris Bosch is good and all, but he has no defense. Attacking it right here. And I guess that goes in. I don't know how it went in, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'm going to work right here with my boy Carl Malone on Chris Bosch. Chris Bosch getting blown by and Carl Malone's all the way with the in between the legs dunk. I've never seen Carl Malone do that when he played up against MJ in the finals in the 90s, but I guess in 2K, he's able to do stuff like that. That is a terrible shot. Don't reward him 2K. Thank you for not rewarding him. But he gets it back, open with Melo, and it is off. Thank you very much for not rewarding him, 2K. My Magic is trying to go all the way right here. I see Carmelo run the floor. Carmelo going all the way. Posterizing CB. Home to that poster, Bosh. Thank you. Give me that. Give me that. Thank you. Clyde with the steal. Clyde trying to go all the way right here. Boom. Right, that right there is game. So all in all, guys, this man Carmelo had himself a fantabulous debut. Force the Rage quit on Unlimited, did his thing in Unlimited. Got the W in Triple Threat, did his thing in Triple Threat. And we're now going to move on to the card review for this Carmelo card. I do think that he is 
a solid 9 out of 10. If I were to remake the top 10 power forwards in NBA 2K20, my team list, and I did do that list a couple days ago, this man Carmelo would probably be around the 9th slash 10th ish spot. He would definitely deserve himself a spot in the top 10 list because honestly, guys, his animations are great. The only real thing that is separating him from like the elite power forwards in the game, guys, like the top 5 ones and a 10 out of 10 ones, and I think he's a 9 out of 10, is just because he lacks that extra volume compared to the elite power forwards and the top five power forwards in my team what i'm trying to mean by volume is that those top five power forwards in my team like ad Giannis, and so on and so forth those guys just simply can do more than carmelo carmelo is great guys don't get me wrong but ad and Giannis can do everything that carmelo can but a little bit better which is why i'm giving the advantage to them because in my opinion they have more volume i'm not sure if i'm using using that term right but if i don't if i'm not really using it right you guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that right there now is pretty much officially going to wrap up and conclude this video. If you guys have not already bought this Karma Loan card for 8,000 MT, I highly recommend you guys do that ASAP. And I will catch all of you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all love and support. And as usual, and as always, it's YBC and I'm out. Peace.